Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Simple Stories. I'm using the fabulous Mix and a Mingle collection, um, which is obviously Christmas um, themed. Um, I love Christmas um, and I was so excited to start my Christmas scrapbooking this year. In fact, I started in October. Um, <laughs> so um, yes, yeah, so I'm using Mix and a Mingle. It's full of beautiful colours. There's some pink in it, in it which is my favourite. I love pink for Christmas. Um, and lots of flowers and stars and it's all just really, really super duper lovely. So um, I am um, going to use um, a white background for my layout, but I'm wanting to use a large amount of pattern paper. I, I love to use pattern paper on my layouts. Um, so therefore I wanted to use a reasonable amount of this um, lovely uh, kind of greeny print. Um, it's got the stamps on the back. That's the only other thing. Um, and uh, so I've just trimmed that down to about 11 inches, I think, maybe slightly smaller. Maybe 10. No, nope. mm, not sure. Anyway, <laughs> I've left a wide border. Um, and that is, uh, so I've put that onto um, a white background. So I've got a white border around the edge. Um, and then I am going to use this beautiful um, print here, the poinsettia print, um, to make a large circle. Um, so um, I just use my compass, my pair of compasses. So I've gone back to. Um, back to old school. Um, I would not, yeah, I potentially could cut out a circle on my silhouette machine, but you know, by the time I've done that, um, by the time I've worked it out, turned it on, put the computer on, to be honest, I may as well have just used um, a pair of compasses, my pencil and some scissors, uh, which is what I did there. Now I couldn't see the circle that I'd cut, uh, sorry, drawn um, on that poinsettia print on, or, or the flower print on the other side. So that's why I turned it over and went for the dark green um, I could just see it a lot more clearly, even though the paper is darker, uh, I could see it because there's less going on. Um, so there's my large circle and I'm going to distress the edges of that so it doesn't matter that I've um, cut it out and it's not perfect as opposed to being cut on an um, electronic cutting machine, then it would be perfect. But it won't matter because I am distressing the edges um, anyway. So all is good. Um, basically, I wanted to use circles on this layout. So I'm now doing another circle uh, with a pair of compasses um, um, on that beautiful red print that must be from the six by eight paper pad. Um, and um, I'm just going to cut that out by hand as well, distress the edges as well. Um, and um, and I'm also going to um, add some machine stitching around the outside edges of these circles as well. So I'm aiming for three circles um, on this layout. Um, I want, um, as I say, I was initially going to go for the reds, um, but uh, in the end I changed my mind and go for um, a green print um, instead. So um, bear with me while I um, fiddle around with this and make some decisions. Um, because I, I really love, I love red the red colours, they're really lovely, but then it was a bit too red. Um, <laughs> so um, I ended up ditching that, um, the larger of the red circles and swapping it for a dark green one instead, which actually made the, um, it just made the whole thing look a lot better because it wasn't too much red on red. Um, so um, anyway, yeah, you can see that now I'm just gonna play around with how, um, how to arrange this layout. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to. Wasn't sure if I was going to have them all arrange um, like concentric circles or layered on top of each other, or if I should um, somehow offset them like that. Um, in the end, I, I do do that, but I do it on the other side. So I'm about to swap sides now, and I say I realise that my my issue is that I've got too much red. Um, it was just overpowering those two circles together. Was overpowering. So there we go. I'm just um, going to now use that same. Um, poinsettia paper but the green side um, and cut that out and that just gives a, a much better um, kind of contrast really. Um, and I made this circle a bit smaller as well because I felt that the two um, circles that I cut out were actually a little bit too big. So there we go. I've now got my circles and that seems to, feels to me like it's much better balanced and better colours um, rather than the two red ones. Um, I've got the green and the red and the light uh, green or blue for the background as well as all the pretty colors in that beautiful um, flower paper too. So there we go, I have got um, my circles in place, my background in place, my photos um, I'm just sorting now. So I've got one photo um, but actually I end up adding another one as well. Um, and uh, I'm going to cut out some tags from the tags paper. I, I think the tags papers are in, are, that 
are in pretty much every collection um, are some of my favourites. I just always reach them as extra embellishments. Um, it feels like you've got a whole pack of embellishments there, doesn't it? I mean, you could probably sell a pack of tags for like six pounds. Um, <laughs> so to have them on a sheet of paper that costs a lot less than that is, um, I think, fantastic uh, value for money. Um, and they, they're journaling on one side and uh, patterns on the other, so you really do have some good choices there too. So definitely a big thumbs up from me um, in that respect. Um, okay, so I'm now just um, going to get everything stuck down. I'm going to commit and uh, get my things um, stuck in place. Um, so I've got my... Oh, and by the way, um, off camera, I've been and stitched as well. So I've added red machine stitching around the outside edges of each one of those three circles. Um, you can't really see it too well on the screen, but in the close-ups, you might be able to notice it. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of extra texture dimension to the layouts as well. I always like the look of machine stitching. Um, I don't always do it, um, mainly because I'm lazy, um, <laughs> and that requires me moving away from my desk. Um, but uh, on the whole, I do really love it. So um, really, I should make more effort to uh, to do more of it, really. Um, okay, so there we go. Um, circles are in place got my tags cut out and distressed. I need to add some twine or thread or something to the tags. Oh, I'm going to add another tag here. Um, like I said, the red circle um, was a little bit overpowering in terms of colour. The other colours on the layout are quite muted, um, but the red is really super bright. So I just wanted to um, make sure I was balancing that with, um, with some more green. So I've got picked out two green tags. So the one with the uh, dark green topper um, and the one with the lighter green and holly leaves. So that I think does well. Um, and um, then I'm trying to see if I could fit in this chipboard frame. Way too late for me to try and um, put that in place now. Um, don't know what I was thinking, um, but uh, because it was a circle, I thought it might go, which it, it kind of does, but it's too big um, for the elements on this layout that I've already got in place. I do think if I'm going to use a large element like that, I really need to start with it and make sure that my... Um, design incorporates it from the start rather than trying to add it later. Um, I find that I definitely get on better that way. Um, okay, so I've added my other photo and then this other little Santa um, is going to go onto the layout as well. Um, but I want him to contrast the, um, sorry, not contrast, complement the big, the, sorry, the red circle. So um, because that red is so bright, I feel that I need to bring that red um, further down onto the layout and um, put that in place as well so that it kind of balances out with the other red pops on the layout. So the circle, um, the flower that's in the background, um, and then Santa will form kind of like a visual triangle, if you like, around um, around the photos or near to the photos. <laughs> um, okay, so just mounted my photos onto some journaling cards. One's pink and one's light green. Um, and um, I am then just going to add the word joy as my title that is from the bits and pieces ephemera um, so I'm going to um, just put some white behind the middle of the O um, because I just it was just a bit um, when it was see-through um, I could see the layers behind it like the corners of my photos and the circle that's behind it so I just needed that to be um, filled in. So I filled that in. Um, and then I'm just trying to arrange some flowers, some fussy cut flowers, um, and um, some ephemera flowers and snowflakes um, down in that bottom left corner. But this is when Santa will come into play over who will, he will come down. He's sitting on my trimmer at the moment, but he's going to come down and sit to the left of my photos. And he's going to provide that perfect bit of balance um, to balance out those pops of red. Um, okay, so just getting everything stuck down over on the right hand side, I've added some Christmas trees. Um, there's a Christmas tree in my photo, uh, the other one photo, the other photo is um, coffee cup, um, classic Christmas photos. Um, and uh, I'm just putting some stars um, at the top there um, and a bird. Um, and I say I've got some fussy cut flowers and some ephemera flowers bottom left, but I need to add some red down there. So I'm going to bring in Santa in just a moment. I thought I was going to do it then, but I didn't. I'm now tying through the um, thread um, into my tags. I sometimes can, can live with tags with nothing in them, um, but it's rare. Normally I feel like they need something in them. So I normally just um, loop some something round. Uh, there we go. He's in place now. He's perfect down there. 
Um, so I normally loop some round um, and tie it on the back, uh, secure it on the back of the tags, or um, I'll you know put it through like um, like it is a string for a tag, um, and uh, have it um, sticking up. So I've done that on one, and I've looped it round on the other. Um, adding some more little bits and pieces of ephemera. I, I do like my layouts to have lots of different sized embellishments on. So obviously I've got the three different sized circles. I've got the larger elements, which are the tags, the Santa and the tree and the title. And then I've got much smaller ones, which are snowflakes, um, gingerbread cookies, um, little coffee cup, um, candy cane. They're all a lot smaller. And now I'm gonna come in with some decorative brads as well. I always love the decorative brads. Um, in the Simple Stories collections, um, just, you know, different product as in not made of paper um, and uh, lots of lovely prints and I love the textures as well. Um, okay, so just adding in some enamel dots now, um, I thought I would go for a curve around the top of my um, top of my big circle. So I went for the pink ones um, and uh, I've gone uh, a big one in the middle and then I've gone smaller on either side of those. Um, and uh, I love how that looks, um, fading off um, on either side. And I'm going to add my journaling um, around there as well. Um, so that ties in the enamel dots um, to the rest of the layout as well. So I'm just writing there. That's I'm writing Christmas 2020. And then over on the right, I've written um, my Christmas joy is my coffee. Christmas cups for the win. Um, absolutely. <laughs> um, and uh, that's it, that's this layer complete, other than the fact that I want to add some white paint splatters. So I'm just going to do that by putting the paint onto a craft sheet and then using my paintbrush to flick the um, paint um, in a few different places. So there we go. That is that layout complete. Oh, I forgot to say that I added some label stickers down the bottom right of the layout as well. There we go, so that is that layout complete. Um, I really like how it turned out. I love the circles, I love this collection, I love all the patterns, um, I love the embellishments, so I just basically love everything. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed seeing this one um, come together. Um, and uh, don't forget to check out the Mix and a Mingle collection by Simple Stories.